As I was saying on the Facebook page yesterday, I had a bunch of injuries when I was a younger man. So I've been a little bit out of the weather lately. A little bit immobilized, not able to get around too well. But uh, today we're getting a little bit better, so I went out and harvested a bunch of Moringa leaves. And I'm getting them strung up. And we're going to get these dried out, turn it into Moringa powder. I've mentioned before, if you don't know what Moringa is, really look it up. It's called the Miracle Tree. It's a great plant for medicinal use, great plant for survival use. Uh, it's one of the most perfect foods. You can even take the seeds and uh, crush a seed, put it in muddy water. It'll settle 99.9% .9 of the mud to the bottom and kill 99% of all pathogens in the water. So you can even use the seeds for water purification, but if you want to be safe, go ahead and boil that water anyway. But uh, we're going to get these strung up, get them to dry and out, and we're going to make a turmeric tea today, and hopefully that'll stop some of the inflammation I got in my arthritis in my back today. And uh, we'll show you all this moringa once it's strung up, how I get it to dry, and we'll show you how to make moringa tea, I mean uh, turmeric tea. And actually I'm going to do a turmeric moringa tea on top of on top of it so uh, hopefully I'll be feeling better by tomorrow all right this is one harvest of moringa leaves now that it's coming fall my moringa are starting to go a little bit dormant uh, they do better in the southern United States especially South Florida but around here they do go a little bit dormant we do get frost and if we get frost, they'll lose all of their leaves. If we get a freeze, the tree will freeze, but it will come back next year. I've probably done, I don't know, maybe 10 or 12 harvests this large this year. And I've been able to turn it all into powder and fill up three mason jars. And that's about a year's supply worth just off one season of growing Moringa. And I do this every year. We use the powder to make it all the way through the winter. You can't eat this fresh. Just the powder is more concentrated. And uh, I'll grab a mason jar and show you what the powder looks like. And this is how I jar up my Moringa powder for the winter. Uh, take the dry leaves, run them through a food processor, and grind it as fine as I can get it. I could probably get a little bit finer. You could use a, once you get it in the state, use a coffee grinder maybe, but it's really going to mess up your coffee grinder and it won't really be good for coffee after that because it'll fill up with the moringa powder and a coffee grinder is a little tough to wash but uh, you can grind it up as fine as you like and when it's in this powder form it's more concentrated than eating the regular leaves because you're actually putting more into your system than just say eating two or three of the moringa leaves in your salad we also do it that way and it's got a great flavor the brand new tips have a nice little peppery zing to them so if you want to top off your salad, grab the new growth and it'll give you a nice little zing to your salad. And we do that quite often. We add this to soups. You can take about a teaspoon or a half a teaspoon and put it on each one of your meals to increase your vitamin and amino acid content. And with this, it'll just basically help antioxidize yourself, give you extra vitamins, extra proteins, extra aminos. And if you take all that in, on a regular basis that will also help you keep from getting sick. Uh, the Moringa has also been known to be uh, helpful with cancer, diabetes, weight loss, all kinds of good stuff. But uh, let's get to making that tea and I'll show you how to make turmeric tea. Just get you approximately one coffee cup full of uh, water in a pot, put it on medium low. You don't want to heat this too much or else you're going to kill the content of what you're trying to get into your body. So all you really want to do is steep this tea to where it's nice and warm and the nutrients come out rather than getting boiled and killing the nutrients. But uh, we're going to take some Moringa powder, a stalk of lemongrass, which I grow in the backyard, cayenne pepper, and organic ground turmeric. Make sure it's 100% turmeric. I grow turmeric in the backyard and I have a really nice planter of turmeric. And it's just now going out of season, but I usually don't harvest it until after the first frost and the top of the plant completely dies. So today we're going to show you how to do it with just store-bought ingredients, well, minus the lemongrass and moringa, 
but you can buy uh, Moringa in your local health food store. It comes in powder form. It's just relatively expensive, and that's why I grow it. But uh, we're going to add one tablespoon of turmeric, a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper, a uh, half a teaspoon of Moringa, and then steep the lemongrass stalk in there for a little bit of lemon flavoring. All right, we have the turmeric in there, the cayenne pepper, the lemongrass. Uh, it's already getting warm to the touch. I just gave it a nice stir. We're going to steep this for maybe two or three minutes. It doesn't take too long. And we're going to add about a teaspoon of honey after we put it in the coffee cup, just for a little bit of sweetener. And honey also has a lot of medicinal power too. But this is a great antioxidant, anti-inflammatory tea. And uh, if you're feeling bad, I suggest you whip one of these up. And uh, it will help. There is no mir miracle cures in this. But if you do it regularly, you will find yourself feeling better. Uh, you can do this when you have a cold, if you're sore, if your joints are achy. And it really does help. Anyway, I hope this helps some of you guys. Have a great day. And uh, stay positive. Many blessings.